September 1976, America's new spacecraft, Constitution, gets its first close-up before the cameras. The Space Shuttle, the world's premier space transportation vehicle. During 1977, NASA spacecraft continue on their journeys towards the planets. In space science, two unmanned Voyager spacecraft like this are now on their way toward the planets Jupiter and Saturn. You know, by the early 80s standards, it was completely revolutionary. That was a, was a major milestone. The space shuttle lifts off the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center in Florida and ascends toward space. It looks almost routine. So my bias is... Number one, obviously the first reusable spacecraft. Uh, the fact that these vehicles have been flown um, year after year, mission after mission, and you come back and look at them, it's like, it's amazing. This thing, it looks great. You know, NASA should be doing those things that are on the leading edge. And the shuttle has been an amazing learning tool. We've learned a lot about just how to do things in space. We got Hubble in extremely good shape. We've got ISS in extremely good shape. When I think of the shuttle, I think of the Hubble telescope. But that alone doesn't do justice to all the other satellites that were launched, deployed, repaired, retrieved. And I think that just epitomized uh, the, the flexibility of, of what the space shuttle is all about. And so this is the kind of access to space that I think we all fully expected to happen. And in fact, it did. People will look to the sky and see hope. I'll take that from them first. Don't give up, Charlie Brown. Three, two, one, blast off. To put 1977 into historical perspective, that's the year scientists find a new life form which digests carbon dioxide and makes the gas methane. The solar system possesses an additional ninth planet. There's a real planet out there still to be found. It's important for us to continue to work. So the object itself likely sits right in between that. Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S1 Ison and WTF NASA. Seriously, bro. Part 7. Doom on-off switch. Just as the classic McDonald's McDLT of old school fame kept the cool side cool and the hot side hot until you were ready to chew it, eat it, swallow it, digest it, and poop it all out, this Thor News Special 7 video will use a magical doom on-off switch thanks to the magic of technology. First part of this video will be doom off, and the second part will be doom on. Got that? So if your heart, brain, soul, and mind, or body cannot take the extremities of the very worst possibilities, please, please, please tap out when you see Doom On switched on. If you can't take scary unanswered questions, then by all means, bow out of this Thor school session. All right, with that out of the way, ah, uh, oh boy, do I have great news for you. Here's my favorite one. Reach a unique audience, separate and distinctive from traditional news media and or NASA audiences. NASA, here's where you want me. Here is where you need me. This is me. This is probably going to be the most me you're going to get out of all your applicants. I reach a unique audience, and they are separate and distinctive from traditional news media and or NASA audiences. So it'll be great, man. It'll be like putting the peanut butter together with the chocolate, and then it'll be all Reese's peanut butter cuppy. Anyway, so, but yeah, totally. I'm your man. I don't know if you know this. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. To stick around. We've got a video message. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Party Dance Time. Welcome to Asteroid Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Today we have. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta warn you. It is still 2016, and the closer we get to the end of this year, the more my nerves are going to be frayed, and I'm going to be getting tested from every angle almost all the time. That is such wonderful news. 